Hazelton teen is being called a hero. 14 year old Daniel Lozano, a student at Hazelton Elementary Middle School, performed CPR on his father until emergency responders arrived, even though he didn't have any formal training in CPR. We caught up with Daniel, his mother Miriam, and his father Francisco, who took us through the frightening events of December 27th, which had a happy ending thanks to their son. 4.30 in the morning, um, I woke up and I heard Francisco making some noises, you know, like gasping for air, like he was in, breathing normal. So then uh, I woke up and I started to call his name, Francisco, what's happening? Are you okay? And then he wasn't responding. So, <clears throat> you know, I immediately picked up the phone, called 911. It was around like 4.30 and I went to use the bathroom. And right as I was about to leave, I heard like, screaming from you know my parents room so I opened the door to investigate and then I saw you know my dad on like face down and my mom just like you know panicking on the phone talking to the 911 operator and then uh, my son Daniel heard me screaming you know um, that I was um, very scared and he said mom what's going on and I said look at your dad you know something is happening he's not responding he's not breathing so then um, Daniel, you know, I, I was shocked because he was so calm and he tells me, Mom, calm down, let's start CPR. And when he said that, you know, I don't know how he came, you know, with such a great thing to say that, you know, and the way he said it in the middle of, you know, being so scared and he comes, you know, with those words, you know. How did you know to stay so calm and to actually start giving CPR. It's not like I didn't receive any formal education on either, you know, like staying calm in crisis or how to use CPR. It's just, I guess, kind of like instinct. Cause like, I'm not really like someone that overreacts or not overreacts, just like, I'm not someone who, yeah, panics. So, I was just, you know, glad that he was taking over, you know, in such a calm way. And then um, the operator was giving us instructions over the phone. He took over the phone and that's when I saw him, you know, um, pushing his hands on my husband's chest and then giving him, you know, like mouth to mouth um, air. And, and then after that, you know, the police, uh, the ambulance came, you know, they said it was within five minutes or so, but to me it was like an eternity, you know, it felt like, oh, I, yeah, I was very scared. I watching TV, I, I to the bed, um, yeah, I think como 10.30 in the night, so I sleep, so then I wait um, uh, four days, Later, I went to the hospital, so I see my wife, so I don't understand what I do in the hospital because before the heart attack, I feel, I feel better. 